All right. Uh, yeah, let's pick it up. Hold on. Speak, what? speak, Joe. Let me see your level. Uh, yes. Hello. All right. Hi. We're we're here at the basement uh, venue in Northampton. That's right. We're crime at, scene. It is uh, the venue where we're supposed to play, and also a crime scene. We arrived here. The police were investigating. There's a dusty spot where the register was. Yep. There's a weird bar. Do you think that bar stool was placed on the bar? Like, that's the one thing. I think it's part of the crime scene. That's part of the scene? Yeah. Untouched. Yeah. We've been told to set up, but also not touch anything. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a weird feeling in here. It's very Um, strange. Staff's being very friendly. Very friendly. The show, without a catch register. Or a crowd. Or uh, a people allowed inside. <laughs> Our show is in deep peril. <laughs> <laughs> You're facing uphill, uphill battle. Yeah. On this one. And um, uh, so we're just trying to make the best of this here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe we should, we should talk about what we talked about earlier with the dolphins and the peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Joe about how dolphins um, collect little gatherings of trinkets and shiny things or interesting looking piles of goo between their flippers to attract mates. Yes, much like humans. We had a deep concern that what if <laughs> what if all this art is just putting shit between your flippers, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just peacock feathers. P Pe- and peacocks. Uh, they are not trying to get a uh, MacArthur Genius Grant with their plume. Yeah. They're trying to get laid. Just getting laid. However. However. Contrary we, evidence. We found. Uh, being very satisfactory. We're, yeah, we're in great relationships. Yeah, with beautiful women. And we're churning out more art, creative stuff than ever. Yeah. Hold Let's, on, here comes a detective with a pause. Okay, let's pause. Uh, so why do people make things? Why do they create things? Because they're bored. A primitive days version. Or like a caveman, he'd like go get a certain rock and like carve a little picture into it and give that to his mom. Well, that would be, you know, that would take creative effort. So that's all right. That's cool. He made it. Make yeah. your cards. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, make your if you know when it's time to express something to your loved ones, actually write it out. Yeah. Who who are these shadowy figures behind? All this is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> this is very depressing. I feel like we're not wanted here, either. I feel like we should have left. <laughs> yeah. I saw a five star review of a peacock's plume the other day, <laughs> in Rolling Peacock magazine. <laughs> Rolling Peacock. Yeah. Dude, he really nailed it with his plume. Man, he, some some peacocks just. You know, what kind of a thief was it in there that he would take that register that had no money in it and it wasn't even a nice cash register and he just like left all the booze he didn't take bottles of booze with him <coughs> or it's a, there is a cash register coming cash into the room. facilities right now that is a cash register yeah, yeah. well it's a pretty night <coughs> it's a good blessing pretty night here in Northampton yeah uh, no one knows what happens next Comes out May 22nd. Please go get it. And uh, we'll see you at, at, the, the, at, the, at the at a venue, hopefully, that hasn't been broken into sometime <laughs> this summer. <laughs> Back. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, they said that they still have to send, like, the crime investigator people to, like, take more pictures and fingerprint, and yeah. then they don't even know when they're going to get here because they're somewhere else. And, yep. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a night that is happening in Northampton. Yeah, yeah. Well, you heard it here. Ah, uh, wow. Cool, cool. Well, let's check out the second pick you brought for us today. And this is something new that you're digging right now as opposed to something a little bit older. Yeah, um, Hallelujah in the Hills. I, I, I love their new record. It's probably my probably one of my favorite records of the year. It's called uh, No One Knows What Happens Next. So the song that got me into the record is the lead track. It's called Get Me In A Room. They're out of Boston. 
which is a brilliant, you know, it's not a pop record, it's not an indie record, it's just a unpretentious, it's just just a very honest record, and I think it's kind of one of those that laid it all on the table type of record. All right, let's hear it. Hallelujah the Hills on Hype Machine Radio. Yeah. 